Hey, boys and girls, I totally got ahead of myself a little bit and uh, kind of left something out, so I'm going to show you. I got it all skinned. I colored it with my famous free dirt uh, secret uh, formula, and now it's ready to go. Yeah, there's some white spots out there. You know, those are little touch-ups, but they'll all be taken care of. So now that we've got fully skinned, got it all covered with dirt, uh, color. Now we're ready to proceed. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into uh, mounting trees for you. You can see I got all over there too. So you kind of see what it's all about. So anyway, let me get back to you. Hey boys and girls, this is Larry, UBRailroad.com. Check me out. Today's March 1st. I'm getting ready to mount trees and I'm going to show you how I do it. Every application requires a special mounting, especially when you're doing something as rugged as all of this. As you can see, I got all my mountains in now. They're all stained, uh, preliminary, okay, because now I'll put scenery on it and I'll go back and touch it all up. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mount a tree right over here. Now don't forget, my pine trees are very large. I believe in total scale as much as possible. Uh, so my trees are between three and four feet. I've got one that's seven feet, but uh, that's beside the point. But I'm going to show you how I mount these. Now there's a zillion ways to mount these. Generally, I would just drill a hole, run a uh, lag screw through it, bolt it, and then run the screw up into the trunk of the tree. But I can't do this because I uh, completely enclosed my tunnels right here. So I'm going to show you another way here. All right, let's go in here. Okay, here's my tree. Now you can see how long it is. I got it in an angle. Uh, there's my arm way down here. I'm a short guy. Okay, so here's the first thing I did. First thing I did is I took some of this uh, wire that you get from those good old flags and I drilled a hole just big enough to get them through. I drilled two holes, one here and one here. Now I drilled them kind of off center so that when I put the center bolt in that I won't run into them. So what I did, like this one right here, this goes this way, this way, and this way. Then I run it through and I bend these out like, like four legs, okay? Then I drilled this hole and then I cut a bunch of these three inch washers. It's out of like quarter inch hardboard, okay? And the nice thing about it is, is, it, is it drills a center hole right for you. So now is what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stick this screw through here super glue this and then I'm going to run it up here and now I've got a very good mounting surface that I will cover it with Hydrocal. Hydrocal like I told you has a 9000 PSI when it's set up. So the thing is is you want to make sure that before you set this up you've got a way to hold that tree until that Hydrocal dries. So this requires a lot of dry run, a lot of initiative and, and just any way you can get the job done. I can't give you an idea or tell you how because each tree is going to be different based on its angle and uh, where it's located. You can see how I cut this to an angle because I know exactly where this one's going to go. Is it 100%? Absolutely not. But this right here is going to take up a lot of that. Okay, This gives me an excellent base to hold all that together. Now the first thing I'm going to do is like I said I'm going to super glue this, screw this in, then I will take hot glue and I will hot glue this plate in as much as I can to hold this. Now that could be one way of holding your tree but just be ready to have something that would help you. I've got a little helper that I made it's called Juan the Tree Holder because I never pay this guy, he never takes a vacation, he never goes back to Mexico, does a great job, and he's got funny jokes. Uh, give me a second and I'll go get him. Okay, there's my Juan the Tree Holder. All I did was take a two by two, put it on a rolling stand, put a piece of half inch PVC, flattened it out here, bolted it to the top, and now you can see what I can do with this. Then I go like this, and then on the end of it, I put a little clamp that swings out, goes around the tree trunk, holds it right in, pl holds it right in place. See, I didn't show you. Okay, now, this guy does great. The only problem is, 
is I'm going to be in some heights and I did not make anything to go any higher, which I should have, but I could always do that. But anyway, I just wanted to show you my little Juan, uh, great helper. Like I said, he's got really funny jokes and he never complains. He just sits there and holds everything for me. Okay, so let me put all this together now that you see what I'm doing and then uh, let's mount a tree. I'll be right back. Okay, I just mounted my first tree. You can see Juan is hard at work holding that tree for me. What I did is I super glued the uh, three inch disc and that glue doesn't stick real good to Hydrocal, but it sticks there long enough to hold things in place to where I can mix a little bit of Hydrocal, spread it around the base, uh, color it, put some uh, uh, lynching around it, bushes, rocks, whatever I want to do. But you can kind of see that uh, that tree's got some length to it and it also has some weight. So remember, you're dealing with those two things. So uh, if you're handy enough, you got the material, make yourself a wand because they work real good. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and mount some more. So I'll get back to you. Okay, I'm back. There's my one mounted tree. The first of probably, I'll probably have a couple 300 trees on here. But let me show you what I did to good old Juan here. I made an improvement to him because I noticed when I put him up there, I didn't have a lot of fluctuation on this end. Well, you can see I used a piece of scrap, you know, from the uh, waterfall. I didn't have a coupler, so I just used a T. So now I could turn it this way, and this guy goes up and down. So now you can adjust right into it. So anyway, so much for Juan. Let's get over here. Okay. I mounted this. You can see how it looks. It's not the best, but you know, by the time you get your ground cover, rocks around it, bushes, uh, whatever, you're not going to see that. And as far as strength, this thing is like as solid as a rock. Okay? Uh, so, right there gives you an idea of what it all looks like when it's completely mounted and ready to go. So, now it's on to uh, more trees but the first thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put my uh, flume in this way I know where it goes and then I'm going to put the trees in kind of accordingly but this is going to be as thick as I can get it I've got 18 trees that are handmade like this and I, I might put them all right here because I want it to be real heavy and you know real foresty so let's see what happens but for the meantime this is Larry boys and girls over and out <laughs> 